morning everyone it's your girl Cassandra Olivia and today I wanted to bring you a tutorial really quick of how I'm going to press out this little diva who has a ton of hair so this is her first time getting her silk press done ever at my salon and just ever in general baby girl has a ton of hair as you can see and her mom brought her here because I literally do a lot of kids or people that haven't had their hair pressed out before I'm just known for that in my area so she felt comfortable enough to bring her to my establishment and you know support me as a business owner and bring her daughter to get her first hair press so her hair has already been shampooed and now I'm just at the process of blow drying her hair I didn't want to put the whole process on here only because it took me about an hour just to detangle and section it her hair was very um like split on the end so sometimes it's hard to like get through it and I didn't want this tutorial to be an hour and a half long so if you go to any of my other videos you can see how I like pretty much section the hair use a paddle brush detangle the hair and then I always go in with a round brush baby girl is super tender headed but she did an awesome job for her first time she was very excited to get her hair pressed so here you just see me section her hair off and I'm gonna just detangle it a little bit more with the comb and then I'm gonna go in and just round brush it with the round brush in the blow dryer which I did not show in this video so now that that's all done we're about like an hour fast forward now I put her hair up into a nice big poof and I started pressing her out with my Bioionic flat iron and I also use my Rust CTC flat iron only because I feel like the Bioionic I love it but I feel like when you press down the iron you have to really squeeze it to get it through to natural hair and I love my Rust iron because you don't have to squeeze it as tightly it's kind of heavy so when you press it it gets the hair straight the first time so here I'm just going over it section by section I'm just alternating between both of the irons Sorry about that guys, I didn't realize I had my notifications on my iPad, but I'm going to continue shooting this. So, I'm just taking the hair in small sections and making sure that I really take my time to work through them. As you can see, her ends are really, really uneven and split. So, it does make the process a little bit harder when you're pressing it out, but you just have to make sure that you take your time, smaller sections, and you don't rush through it. A lot of people mess up natural hair because they rush through it and they don't take their time. So here I'm just showing you each little section that I did and I'm just going through it and sometimes I had to even use my comb to detangle the bottoms and then just hit the bottom separately. And I'm just going to do this until we're all through the end. So now she's all pressed out and I showed her in the mirror and she started feeling herself as you can see her facial expression. Her hair is so thick guys. It looks like it was just blow dried. And her mom's standing right there and she went to make sure that I wasn't going to take off too much. You know how moms are. So I just went ahead and kind of trimmed it in the shape that it was in preferably I would like to take a little bit more off only because it's her first time ever gonna hair press I believe she was nine so you know nine years of growth never having a trim it was kind of uneven so it grew in like a V shape but you know as per my clients request I just went ahead and just dusted the ends lightly and I told her that she would have to come back at least two more times just to get it you know trimmed a little bit more so that way the ends are nice and even one thing that I will say is that I always tell my clients that if you can see through your hair at the ends Nine times out of ten, it's because your ends are split or it's broken off and it needs to be taken off. You don't want hair that's see-through because that's an indicator that your ends aren't where they need to be. So like on the sides of her hair, you can kind of see through to the cape. I just went right under that line and just trimmed as much as I could get without, you know, taking too much off the first time. I didn't want to give her mom a heart attack. So now this part is just pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going in and trimming all the dead ends off. And then she didn't want to have it curled or bumped. So pretty much this was the end result. Her mom wanted to bone straight. She wanted bone straight. She never wears her hair out. So it's completely understandable. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoy. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore Cassandra Olivia. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.